in this video i will teach you how to make a realistic and smooth skin with pen just watch to the end of this video and you understand everything okay the first thing you do is to mark out the highlights mark out mark them way so that you will not make mistake when you are shading because this is pen drawing okay there is a light here there is a light here and behind the jaw don't make mistake with it make sure it's accurate before you start shading the next thing you do is to create layers use your pen to create layers what are layers layers are creating light lines before start shading but this time around since it is a light skin we are making everything very light and we are graduating from light to dark so it's the same pressure you apply when you are creating these layers same pressure you apply until you make it dark it's just a small process you have to go through the layers you are creating is hatching and cross hatching you don't do scribbling for layer for layering at this stage because you are trying to make the scene super light all these white american ladies that's how their bodies are so you have to be very careful and know how you keep your pen since you want it to be very light you don't hold your pen at the mouth if you hold your pen at the mouth you will get a rough sketch and it will be thick and it will not be beautiful so just be patient with it go from that light till it turns dark that's how you do it Continue shading it light and be very careful because of the highlight, the places we marked out earlier. And don't forget, always look at the reference picture you are making so that you will not make mistakes. It's very very important. You look at where is too dark, the place that are too light, and both in the highlight there are places that are more whiter than each other. So you have to study everything first. Don't forget, study everything first. That is the only thing that will help you to draw marvelously when you start shading. If you check where well, it is the same thing that it is, it's just that I want to use gradually so that I won't make mistake. I want to gradually blend into dark so that's why i'm repeating the same thing just that i'm shading the same places that i was shading before so that it will turn black you all do this for smooth skin especially if you are doing pen drawing you have to do it because pen doesn't have 2b or 4b all this stuff it doesn't have graphite you can't use charcoal so you have to gradually blend it so that it can it can go from light to dark that's the only way you can do it but if you want it to be dark immediately you will spoil the drawing and especially this is a smooth skin you don't just do that with pen you have to follow the process anytime it will take you just follow the process you will you will really enjoy what you produce apart from applying the same pressure that is another thing you have to learn it's called blending what's blending blending is just the way you fade in the dark side to the light pipe it's just when you apply pressure on the pen you release your hand doing the finishing it's just simple as that when blending you also need to be very careful and i always clean them out of my pen so that it will not bleed because if you make any mistake in pen drawing it will really spoil the whole work when blending when i'm blending i choose any direction because i want to get a perfect output of the drawing i want to get a perfect look so i can change any part of the drawing i can shift it anyhow as far as i get what i want and another thing you have to look at is my hand the way i'm holding the pen i'm not holding the pen at the mouth if i'm holding the pen at the mouth i will not get what i want it will be giving me a dark sketch instead of a, a light sketch so who depend at the center at the center not at the mouth even if you decided to get a particular point but not too much at the mouth because 
when you hold it at the mouth you will just mess the whole thing up the same way you the same way you shade with pencil when you are blending you don't hold the pencil at the mouth the same way is to paint just that in pen you know it's ink so you have to apply some pressure for pencil you just make the thing look right light so at this stage just be careful about all the shading stuff because i have made the drawing and ruined the drawing because of i cannot blend away all those stuff no 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 you have to learn how to do that and you really need to perfect it because will i say is the most important thing in drawing after you have sketched you have gotten your outline so the next thing is to blend if you can blend well then you can draw well i really change i'm really really careful when it comes to blending so i change the direction of the drawing anyhow i just i flip it i set it horizontal anyhow you will be sure that you will make the drawing to blend away just sit the drawing like that no one is rushing you you have to take your time this drawing took me about four days to make so if you take if you take take it easy like you are not rushing anything you will really get a wonderful look some artists will be like why is my drawing this smooth the truth is it's not that just only pen that's another thing you have to do to get this kind of smooth just that the pen the shading is the most important then others is just like adding to it so i will share you that at the end of this video just stay tuned i will explain everything for you i will make sure you understand it okay now i want you to like this video that you're watching like the video and subscribe to this channel more tutorials are coming just like this video first okay the another trick you need to learn very important is what i call scribbling it's like getting those lines you have created bringing them together scribbling is just simple scribbling is making circles like tiny circles but when you are making the joy you make it very light that's how you do scribbling it helps in bringing the lines the hatching and cross hatching you make it helps in bringing them together now watch how i apply it in a drawing it's just the same method how i put how i kept my pen then hold it either at the middle or closer to the map or not too close then you apply the scribbling but don't apply too much pressure on the scribbling note the reason for the scribbling is just bring the lines together so that when someone sees the drawing you will not be seeing the strokes the hatching and cross hatching that you make so that's the reason of the scribbling since it's a light scheme you have to make the scribbling light too if you watch you will see that blend i'm blending from that dark side to this light side this there is is because the lady has a smooth skin one and she also applied makeup so it should be super smooth that's there should not be a place that is not blended because any place you left you leave like that the drawing will be messed up and it's a pen drawing um i always say it always be careful because if you ruin the drawing if you ruin one part of the drawing you have ruined every part of the drawing so you don't use cleaner to clean it you don't use anything to clean it just follow the process another thing you have to consider in pen drawing is the pen you are using to draw is very very important as chuck as pencil artists they some pencil artists use charcoal some use graphite also do pen artists have to choose the pen they want to use for me i choose i advise you use big pen i use big pen for my blue artworks i use it for my black even some artworks that i make with red pen is all big pen the reason is that the mouth of big pen is more wider than others and others have these tiny mouths that when you start using it to shade you have to shade tire it's not that i cannot use those ones i can use them but the ones i recommend the one i recommend for your artworks if you want it to be beautiful is this big pen use it and you will enjoy everything 
another stuff you have to check is the paper you are using to draw i made this mistake very very much when i started drawing i didn't know about it you have to buy a rough paper or use your hand to create a rough paper i can teach you that that's another reason you have to subscribe to this channel there is more tutorials i'll be dropping on this channel so i can teach you how to you can do all those stores how you can more things how you can make your smooth paper to be rough paper so just the subscribe i got you more tutorials are coming and for artists i always ask for tutorials to share with pen just hit my channel click on my channel yeah you will see videos there are lots of videos that will teach you everything you need to know even if you don't understand just comment i will make a video for you yes. i'll make a video for you i'm here for you just i will make you understand every damn thing now what i'm doing now is i'm adding shadows and everything you have to do is with your pen even uh, under the leaves i added shadows to i shaded them so you have to do everything with pen so mind you the only way you can add shadow is adding extra lines to the drawing finish adding extra lines to the drawing that's how you do and you are adding it light lines to you it becomes that guys see pen drawing is easy now i bring you to a final stage of the drawing of ariana grande the drawing is more beautiful because of the hair i'm working on the tutorial now so subscribe so you won't miss the video